In this video, we will walk you through our new calibration wizard. You will need a tape measure and a scraper or blade-like tool. First, power on your smart bench and on the new calibration screen, select Yes, Calibrate. Before homing, we ask that you ensure that the wheels and pinions are set by gently rocking each axis. Make sure your machine is clear and that the X-beam is lowered so that it's running on the smart bench. Clean the machine and ensure your vacuum hose is disconnected from the Z-head. Once you are happy, press home. When measuring the X-beam, push your tape measure up against the Z-head guard post and take your reading from the edge of the home end plate. Make sure you are reading your measurements in line with the reference face and not from an angle. We recommend holding your tape measure sideways to keep it secure. Use the nudge button so that the measurement is precisely up to a millimetre line. Make a note, then press test. The axis will be moved backwards and forwards attempting to return to the same point. Repeat your measurement again, and if necessary, use the nudge buttons to return to the same position. When you're happy the measurement is the same, press OK and you will be told the backlash value. To measure the X distance, place the tape as before and use the nudge buttons so that the measurement is precisely up to a millimetre line. Enter the value, then press set and move. The Z head will move away from you. The screen will then indicate an expected measurement depending on your starting position. Re-measure the distance between the guard post and the end plate to confirm, using your free hand to support the middle of your tape measure to stop flex. If the measurement is accurate, you can finish and move on to the next section. If needed, you can improve your result by using the nudge buttons. Repeatedly, press the nudge buttons until the measurement is precisely up to any millimetre line, and then enter the value which that represents. The machine will rehome after setting and you'll be asked to repeat the process to verify your measurements. Once you're happy, press finish and the Z head will travel towards you ready to start your Y measurement. To take your Y measurements, lift and secure the X beam to allow you to thread your tape measure underneath from the home end stretching all the way to the other end of the Y bench. Once balanced, lower the beam back down. When measuring in Y, hold your blade tool against the inside surface of the X beam. Careful not to press down on the tape measure. Note which face you take your read off of and make sure you use that face each time you measure. Take your first measurement using the nudge buttons to ensure you are precisely up to a millimetre line. Then press test. The axis will be moved backwards and forwards attempting to return to the same point. Repeat your measurement, this time using the nudge buttons to return to the exact same position. Pressing OK will tell you the backlash value. Move to the next section and take a measurement as before, using the nudge buttons to ensure you are precisely up to a millimetre line. When you press set and move, the X-beam will travel away from Y home. The screen will indicate an expected measurement depending on your starting position. Take your measurement and if it is correct, you can finish the calibration. If not, select try to improve the result. Use the nudge button so that the measurement is precisely up to a millimetre line and enter the value into the box. Press set and check. Before pressing set, home and verify, ensure you have removed your tape measure. Homing with the tape measure on Smartbench will shave the brushes off the bottom of your dust shoe. You will be asked to repeat your Y distance measurements, which should now be correct.
you have finished calibrating your smart bench. 